Okay, chat. We're back to trash now, okay? No more celebrating. No more fun. No more happiness. Okay? We're going straight down into the trash mines. We're digging with our fingernails and clawing with our hands to dig out the biggest and largest nuggets of trash so we can put it up the hole, the trash hole, and serve it to the corn gods. I am merely the corn pope who communes with said corn gods. It's all a grift. All the way down. Not Pim Tool. Oh, no, no, no. We are not to that yet. You guys gotta go through a Sargon double feature. We're on to Sargon of Akkad again, who is mad that movies have ratings and that some movies uh, uh, ought to have, like, maybe warning labels in front of them for some people. Mad about it. So let's talk about it. Here we go. Carl is mad at Variety's 10 movies which need a label warning. Just amazing. Variety's amazing. 10 problematic films that need mm. disclaimers and discussions before and after watching. Yeah, that'll be exciting. I'm sure that's going to be fine. Dual X, thanks for the 100 biddies. Should call it a night for work. Have fun, y'all. Hey, have a wonderful evening. Uh, Oppelman, thanks for following. And uh, they're now on Sky. Uh, Sky. I'm they're not sure. Uh, sorry, yeah. Who is this? Is this... Oh, this is from Modern Wis Wisdom, and he had Sargon of Akkad on. Okay. What? No, no, in, they are. In this list, Dirty mm. Harry, Forrest Gump, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Me right. Before You, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which only came out last year, yeah. uh, and then Children's Hour, The Searchers. So they're from the 60s. Forrest Gump, 1994. Yeah. Dirty Harry, 1971. Yeah. Indiana Jones, 1984. I think that one was, a, was problematic because it showed Hindu people as being the ones that yeah. can take your heart out. Uh, no, 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 no. The real problematic thing with Indiana Jones, The Temple of Doom is that he forces himself on the female lead. Like, literally. Have you seen that movie? That, that'd be the issue. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, th th this... It, 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 Child labor? Well, p kids aren't people. That's fine. It's the circular firing squad that Obama was talking about. Now culture is going to be cleansed. And when people do this, there's... Culture is being oh, wait, it, it, He couldn't have been fucked to change his camera angle for the guest appearance where he usually puts shit over here. He just couldn't do it. It's also competitive, right? There's a way, there is a way of attaining status by doing this. By taking the scalp, you get to brag and say, well, look, I just aided the revolution. You know, we are slightly closer to the social justice future because Indiana Jones has been censored away. Because head on a spike. Exactly, head in the spike. And it, and this taking things down becomes competitive sport. You know, everyone's looking at everyone else getting kudos and thinking, well, I need to do something. You know, I found something. You know. And so the, these campaigns will intensify yeah, the split screen on um, so until weird. someone just says, well, look, I just don't agree that this is a problem. Really, if that's, I'm the one that, that's not going to happen. Like, no, it's not. Everyone's terrified. Yeah, and rightly so. Like, the, the silence is deafening stuff. So CrossFit, I don't know whether you've seen that the CrossFit CEO put his foot in it in a really really huge way they hadn't no, i didn't they hadn't decided to put out a message when every other company was during that yeah. period that yeah, like yeah, five yeah. day period they didn't do that the, the, the black message with white writing uh, the black message with white writing huh um they, they didn't have one of those and then greg glassman the ceo did a thing tweeted um there was a, a dude that pop filter is not doing nearly enough work is it as puffy on on? I, can, I see. I can hear myself. I can hear myself. See, but like if it's, it's you just can't fucking aim it at it. See, now we're good. Now we're good. He just keeps popping into his fucking mic. A little bit of nuance to it when you dug in deeper, but it was just it was just a stupid tweet. Like and when you think of the current environment it was as as basically as stupid as you can get and now he's resigned and that is that has tumbled out there's no way that that wasn't going to happen there's no yeah. way that that wasn't going to happen and I, you know from my side i think yeah he fucked up like see you later on greg like you're off yeah. mate but there has to be a line somewhere with what we do with culture and with what we allow
How in from history. What we do from culture. Oh my god. I love how it's so interesting that there's always these white man pundits um, on right wing media, sort whether it's YouTube or otherwise, that think like they're the ones that are in charge of curating and ensuring culture. Like, we've been in charge this far. Obviously, it's up to me what culture is good. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that weird? Does anyone find that fucking weird and off-putting besides me? Very strange. I don't think that should be the case. I think maybe everybody that's involved in the culture should be doing the culturing, huh? That's my. New, that's gonna be my new right-wing uh, rant Sona uh, YouTube channel, by the way. It's gonna be called The Culturing. People that fuck up right now, I'm like, look, mate, you, you're an adult, you know? But you can't judge the situations of history by the standards of today. However... Well, yeah, you, you wouldn't, because it would be irrational to do so. It's like, something that it was made, be like the searches made in 1956. Yeah. Should that be condemned for it? Okay, no, that shouldn't. That should be taken down. Okay. Let's roll the clock forward. At what point... Does doing a thing which today is reprehensible but back then was acceptable become due recompense in the now? Because no one. <sighs> when we decide to is the answer. When we decide that something is so far detached from modern society and our ethics, and our current standards, and the zeitgeist, and our political beliefs, and our social institutions, and, and all of these different things. When you have an incongruence between a statue, or a monument, or whatever, and the people that live among that statue, that's when you go, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have a monument to a slaveholder. Maybe we shouldn't. Does that mean destroy the statue? Maybe sometimes. Does that mean save the statue and put it in a museum? Maybe sometimes. Does that mean it it it, it could be it's possible to vandalize one during a fucking uh, a, a a riot or a uh, or a, a demonstration or whatever? Yeah, that's also possible. I mean, why are you surprised? Why are you surprised that a bunch of people who are so fed up that they, they can't work through the system, right? Like BLM and stuff like that, who have tried to work through the system for fucking ever. So fed up with racial injustice and, and, and inequity that they're going to they're gonna be like, you know what, I, I, we've been asking you to take this fucking racist shit down for 30 years. And you haven't done it? We're going to do it ourselves. We are the community. This is the public thing. We'll destroy our own things. Fine with that. Fine with that. One's going to the people, and they are doing a lot of work within the system too. But that said, the system is sometimes too slow for people to be like satisfied at all with any of the outcomes, and that's valid. People that made the searches in 1956 mm -hmm. and saying, "We need your head on a spike. Let's get rid of your blue tick on Twitter. Let's probably do this." Dead. Yeah, but, okay, so at some point, yeah. where the it's children's point, are in 1961, or Indiana yeah. Jones. Who was the guy in Indiana Jones? Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Har Harrison Ford's head's not on a spike. Uh, Harrison Ford isn't really responsible. Like, you'd think they'd be going after George Lucas for writing it, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, but my point... Yeah. George Lucas for writing it? What? Do you mean Steven... Sp who wrote... I don't even know who wrote Indiana Jones... Indiana Jones writer. Who was that? It wasn't George Lucas, was it? Am I nuts? Did George Lucas write it? The series was created by George Lucas. Jeffrey Bohm. That's who I was thinking of. Jeffrey Bohm. Mm -hmm. The series was created by George Lucas, but it was not written by him. And it was obviously uh, uh, Steven Spielberg. Soundtracks, nice. 
George, George Lucas, this is interesting. George Lucas wrote The Adventures of Indiana Smith. <laughs> times good fucking times <laughs> uh, uh, Rome demon thanks for the host <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah, yeah. Th there's, but there's, they will there's, they a, will. there's a line somewhere and yeah. I just want I want to try and work out where that is because once we have something definite something a, a guideline that you can work with you can be like okay i can respect the boundary that has been set mm. i can ensure that there is a rule whereby we do not make people in this in in this world feel uncomfortable but for as long as there isn't a rule you can pick and choose that's good that's bad that's good that's bad joe okay but okay so this guy is being way more reasonable than Sargon of Akkad, when he says, okay, let's talk about a rule and let's set a rule. That sounds reasonable. That's at least a, it's at least a reasonable thought, I suppose. But it's not, it's not practical or really effective, right? Because you can't just, like, what would that even look like? A general, it's like, it's like a, it's like a unifying theory of kindness. I guess you could say the line is, the line is, if a person is personally offended by it, but that's not a good line, right? The line is really where the zeitgeist is, and so that's why it has to be picked and choosed. Picked and choosed? Picked and chosen. Uh, uh, that's why it has to be picked and chosen, because you 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 have certain people, you're like, it's a conversation. It's not this, it's not like a factual line that you can draw in the sand, Right? You could probably be pretty comfortable with a lot of things, like, uh, I don't know, no statues of KKK members, right? But what if there's a statue of, I don't know, I have no idea. Let me, let me try to think of someone who's a bad guy that might turn into a good guy. Uh, I don't know. A statue of a former KKK member who changed their ways and became, like, an advocate for all the leftist praxis things you can think of who was like you know what i was drawn into this extremism and i'm gonna i'm gonna move and i changed it um i don't know who robert bird is but maybe robert bird i don't know who's robert bird why, why does that sound familiar robert bird robert bird let's see robert bird american policy surgeon is senator until his death wait why does this guy sound familiar He died in office. Where's the oldest member? Wait, why? The. He dead? Four court, former KKK member to die. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I mean, yeah, but he did, did. I mean, being a Democrat isn't exactly the opposite of being a KKK member, you know what I'm saying? I meant, like, like you know, someone who's actually, like. Like, think if. Um, I don't know. Like, like if Bernie Sanders was a member of the KKK or, or like, a, like a, just a white nationalist in general. And then he decided, or like was a Nazi, and then was like, you know what? I mean, although he's a Jewish, but but um, did I just say he's a Jewish? Although he was, he is Jewish. Uh, uh, you know, something like that, where where someone becomes like a statesman. Yeah, but either way, you know what I'm saying? Ah, yes, the Jewish Nazis. Uh, ah. Continuing on. Joe Biden says in one sentence that it's uh, racist for Trump to not uh, let Chinese people in, and then two months later says that the lockdown started too late. Those are for different reasons. <sighs> ah! You can have... These are not competing ideas. To say that... <laughs> oh my God. The context of saying... No Chinese people should enter. Implies that Chinese people are inherently dirty and virulent and, 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 and like have like fucking diseases, dude. Saying that the lockdown wasn't soon enough is saying that like, yeah, we should have protected ourselves, not just against the Chinese, but just against international travel to prevent the spread of this thing because America is like 
the international travel hub of the fucking universe. Maybe we should have considered, like, chilling a little bit when the CDC said, hey, you should chill. One is targeted at a specific group of people for something that racists think is inherent to their existence, dirtiness, eating bats, and, and COVID, shit like that. And one is a response to a pandemic. You fool. Hunter Avalon doesn't have a statue, nor should he. Yeah. Like, multiple think, things um, being true at once is... Yeah, I, th I think that the desire to find consistent rules is uh, in, in some ways foolish, because it, it comes... Uh, I'm not, not trying to be insulting or anything. <laughs> I, I, I spent years struggling with that too, right? Um, it's it's and and so I you know I was foolish to think. Teach me expedite but, expedite my progress through yeah, this. Well, this yeah, yeah. Well, 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 once <laughs> stop being reasonable and trying to find a, a a point to talk to the other side on a subject you disagree with. Instead, let's just have Sargon expedite us straight into authoritarian right. Do you realize that they're going for revolution? You realize okay, well, revolution. Hey, can we get some copies in chat for Mark Monkey? Who does stream as well? Your boy Mark Monkey. Hold on. There you go. Actions are effectively wars. You know, you're, you're talking strategy and tactics, disposition of the troops on the field, whatever the whatever the field of battle is. You know, it could be Magic: The Gathering or something. You know, or Dungeons and Dragons. You know, or playing card <laughs> games, or you know, video games, or whatever. It could be Hollywood movies. Whatever the field of battle is, you've got uh, people who are more powerful than others, and and they they make moves, and your side wins, your side loses. And once you realize that, and it, all of social justice requires power to be defined with it what's racism it's power plus privilege right that's uh power plus prejudice sorry um that's that's not the definition of racism we use but that's the social justice all of these words are defined contextually in a schema of power um and once you realize that you realize that there's no point trying to be uh morally accurate in to what you've already said or to your own principles right Ah, this is the issue. He's dealing in morals and not ethics. So it's just like this cut and dry X is bad, not X is bad when Y, which is ethics. I hate that. That's why we disagree almost always. Um, because you're not trying to establish fairness. You're trying to win. You know, so if at, something at any, benefits my any... side... Uh, yeah, we're not trying to establish fairness. We're trying to win. What if the thing we're trying to win is fairness? No, of course not. This guy's fucking stupid. Literally, he just explained why the right is so fucking vapid, right? Why the why why right wing people in general are just fucking just void of any sort of like empathy or anything like that. And he just said, uh, "I'm not trying to to." find a middle ground. I'm not trying to do anything productive. I'm trying to win. Yeah, it's about winning. It's just like a personality complex where they just feel like, I gotta win an election. I gotta be on the side of the people that voted to win. It's like, I feel like these people, like, like, loot, like, they're like soccer hooligans. But for politicians, it's fucking weird. Like, their whole personality is that. In America, in, if you don't know a soccer hooligan in America... Think of like, uh, you know, people that really like football, like bat, like 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 the uh, the the pigskin, the gridiron, and then like when their team wins, they like flip shit over, same shit, and they beat people up in the stands. Yeah, really? Any, yeah, yeah, yeah. In any direction. I mean, it's not it's not at any cost. They do have they do have limits to things that they'll do and they won't do. Uh, but those limits are way outside of the boundaries of what someone like you or me might find acceptable. You know, burning down business, small businesses, that's totally within these limits, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm insulting a trans woman or, of color on Twitter, that's totally out of limits. That's not going to do it, you know. Ah, you can insult a trans woman of color. You can. The line is insulting the trans woman of color about immutable aspects about herself, right? Like, if you're like, oh, you're trans. Okay, you're stupid and dumb. Okay? 
both dumb and stupid. If you insult a trans woman because she's like, I don't know, a Sargon fan, that's a decision she made. Totally valid to be like, you're an idiot. You're a dumb fucking idiot. Okay? Totally valid. You can insult whoever you want for valid reasons, just not Im uh, immutable things. That's the point. As far as the burning down small... Burning down small businesses is is permitted by the left. Context. Burning down small businesses as a side effect of, of advocating for your rights to exist as a black person in the United States. Yeah, I'd say as part of a demonstration, hit them in the wallets. Okay. Is it is it praxis to burn down small businesses in your community every day? No. No, it is not. And most of the time, you should be aiming for chains, and people who burn down small businesses are affecting their movement negatively. Let's be honest. Unless that small business is owned by, like, a racist or something, uh, someone who is actively against BLM, and a lot of the times this was the case, they were protecting their property uh, from people who weren't going to affect it, and then they're starting to yell racial slurs and shit, and then, you know, a Molotov goes through your window. I mean, that kind of happens, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't probably fucking do that kind of shit. But, I mean, like, in the same breath, uh, this is the type of guy Sargon here would totally dismiss, like, you know, the firebombing of Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Like, he totally wouldn't even bring that up. So it's not even a big deal, you know? Yeah. So they've, they've just got very different standards. Um, what was I going to say? Turn on. Harrison Ford. The, uh, <laughs> no, the, 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 the battlefield. Uh, right, yeah, so... This is why you see Joe, you know, Joe Biden can say one thing when it's advantageous for his team and then the complete contradictory position when it's advantageous for his team and none of his... It's not contradictory. We described to you the... So the such as, he was talking about the... the, the uh, uh, it's racist to say that we should ban Chinese people from the United States, uh, but it's not racist to say that we should have started the quarantine earlier. He, he fundamentally misunderstands why those two things are in no competition to one another. It's very strange. His team will call him up on this. That, it that, doesn't matter. Mate, that, that blows my mind. The fact that you can Pure have culture. someone who can reverse their position, say a yeah. thing, and then within months say another thing. These people are supposed to be the leaders of public opinion, the pinnacle yes. of how we deliver the will of the people to the, the upper echelons of the most powerful country on the planet. Okay, first of all, that's a really terrible way to describe modern politicians. It's sort of a wank fest. It's, it's like you're snowballing. Like it, It's like you, 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 you slid your ass up the wall so that your ass is hanging over your face, and then you jacked off into your own mouth, and red, white, and blue cum came down. And just wait all over your face. And you're like, oh, yeah, this is how fucking democracy works. Ah, it's very self-satisfying, self okay? It's not really the fucking case here, bud. Okay? This isn't how things work. Okay? It's PFG Animal. Thanks for following. This is, this, is, this is a romanticized, dog shit, juvenile way to describe modern-day politicians, okay? Second of all, it's not a reversal of his fucking opinion. When you said... Hey, it's racist to say that the Chinese ought not be allowed into the country due to coronavirus because he calls it the fucking Kung Flu and he says that the Chinese people are inherently dirty and eat bats and just have viruses in their bodies. That's why it's racist, okay? That's why it's bad. But to also say at the same time, because his... It's not about the end, which is all the only thing they think about. It's not about the end. The end is X doesn't come into the country, okay? And then the other thing that you think is incongruent with it's racist to say Chinese people shouldn't be allowed is to say, hey, we should have stopped people at the border earlier in response to COVID. Do you see how one of them is... Like, the, the end point is the same. I totally agree. The end point is the same. And if I'm a chimpanzee... With a small monkey brain, I also agree that I wouldn't. I wouldn't understand how those two things uh, uh, aren't exactly the same. But I'm a man. I am a. I am a. I am a human man, and I understand language and context and how things work. And and wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? That hey, we should have had a better response to COVID has nothing to do with this perverse and racist 
idea that people outside of the United States are inherently dirty or gross or inhumane or barbaric or anything at all. It's literally just a, a practical thing. You can say we shouldn't let people in. You can say we shouldn't let, hey, because of the outbreak in China and its, its localization there, we're going to stop travel from China until they seem to have this under control. That's totally fine. It's kind of literally the same thing, but without this racist bullshit attached to it. Do you see how it's different? Does anybody see how it's different? If you're a right winger, you have no idea why that's different because you have a small brain and a low IQ. You are not the master race. I'm sorry to say, if you look like this guy, you might think, oh, that's a master race. No, 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 no. He's got a tiny itty bitty pea brain and it doesn't do a lot of thinking. It has like no folds whatsoever. If you chopped the top of his skull off and scooped his brain out and you rolled it across the floor, it would cease rolling almost never. It would just continue. It, it's frictionless. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, the momentum of it would not be slowed by the friction of the earth because it is so smooth and dumb. Okay? Do I have my point? Is that the point? Do you guys get it? All good? Good to go? How on earth is that allowed to happen? Because it's the great and good doing it. They're the ones with their fingers on the levers of power, aren't they? Like, it should be the sort of thing that people scream from the rooftops. Like, these That's are what we're your doing here. elected pub <laughs> public officials. But it's yep. like, how is there not... How does this allow you to trust? And that's not me to say Trump's any better. You know, Trump, Trump says... Trump's got a myriad of failings. Oh, yeah. But Trump is not a revolutionary. He doesn't want to overthrow the American Republic. He doesn't... But doesn't he? Buddy. I know... Look. We're friends. Right, Carl? We've been hanging out all day today. All right, we're at three hours here. I've been hanging out with you for three hours. And I gotta say, you just told me that Donald Trump doesn't want to overthrow the Republic. He has no intentions of, like, being a revolutionary. The man literally just said that maybe we should postpone the election. The man said that he might not step down from power should he lose an election. The man said and outwardly spoke, Hey... I think the media should not be legally allowed to say bad shit about the president. Are you going to say anything? Wait a second. Ah, shit, this is the trash can. No, I thought, I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. I thought, I thought Carl, I, I thought Carl was actually in here ready to talk. That's, that's my bad. I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I am so fucking embarrassed right now. We're going to move on doesn't hate the founding fathers he's not going to tear down any statues he's not going to do any of he's not going to defund the police you know he's not going to increase drug and crime rates you know things like, like trump has got so many failures but being in favor of the concept of the system is not one of them you know that he's he's at least on that whereas the left hate the system they hate what it is how it's founded in their view okay so, it's not about hating the system or how it was founded or anything. It's about understanding that the system is flawed and how it was founded adversely affects people that do not that are not represented by those that founded it. Thank you, Arabe, for for hanging out. Uh, from my HQ. I feel like I've seen my HQ twice tonight. Is that you both times? Thank you though. You sometimes forget to. Yeah. Um, so the idea here is that um, you don't have to be a fucking, you don't have to be a fucking revolutionary, okay, to understand that, like, the system is not good for everybody. It's great for people that look like me. Like, if you're, if you are a sentient or sapient corn, it's fine. It's fine. We're just hanging out, enjoying the fields, okay? Reaping our kernels. I don't know how it works. I'm kind of a bad corn. But if you're not a corn, if you happen to be an African... Uh, of African descent, of Asian descent, of, of Hispanic descent, of First Nations, uh, if you're a First Nations people, like, you kind of get the fucking raw end, because you don't look like me. That's it. It's kind of literally it. You don't look like me. And if you don't look like me, 
There are hurdles that you have that I never will see. I couldn't try to take that hurdle and put it in front of me. It, it, I just phased through the shit. Because of the melanin, or lack thereof. Although I do have a little bit of a tan, you know? It doesn't really show up on you. Shut up. It doesn't really show up on the camera. Shut up. Okay? It's... Thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate the, the biddies. So, ignoring the idea... So, he said, you have to hate the system, and you have to hate how it was founded. Understanding that the system, America, the Constitution, etc., was founded by white slave owners is incredibly important to contextualize their writings, to contextualize the laws, and understand places where we might say, hey, that's outdated and here's why. For instance, cops started as slave catchers. No wonder we didn't change their fucking training to make them capable of dealing with things like domestic abuse because most cops are domestic abusers. 60%. So, I mean, like, look. Understanding that there are problems with your country and wanting to change those things is not being a revolutionary. Nor should it be deemed as such. It shouldn't be looked at upon as such at all. Bucking, if someone says to you, hey, did you know that white supremacy is a problem? Your answer should not be, no, it's not. Your answer should be, Huh, why is that? That's it. What's your opinion of the corn politics in the film Logan? <sighs> Oof. They ran over so much corn in that movie. And so they, they're going to do so much more damage than Trump would ever even conceive of doing. Trump okay, so the damage would include limiting the arrestable offenses limiting the ability to capitalize on someone's arrest, limiting drug offenses, limiting the number of people that are incarcerated in the country, ensuring that people have health care, ensuring that people have access to, to education. These are the tragedies that will occur should the left take power. Wow. Fucking tragic. I'm trying to think... I'm trying to steel man his, his argument. What is the most negative thing that will come out of a, out of a left-leaning... Uh, 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 oh yeah, we're very anti-Sargon here. He's on a fucking trash can. Sargon's dog shit. Yeah. I debated him recently, if you want to check that out. Me and a buddy of mine destroyed him in, in, in V. Uh, we have that on the YouTube channel, if you're interested in that. Uh. Where we upload all the time, guys! Oh, that's the wrong YouTube. That's the wrong YouTube. Her ramble was just a gorilla. Subscribe Reno to my YouTube ski. That's the one. That's the one right here. We've been uploading so many things. Chat. We've been uploading so many things. Go to that. Follow it. Subscribe to it. If you don't subscribe to it, it'll make me very, very sad. We're at, we're almost at 7k subscribers on there. I want to get to 10k. Let's do it. Anyway. Uh, thanks for following, Mr. Judo. Appreciate you. Sargon makes me ashamed to share a landmass of origin. <laughs> yeah. V seems genuinely ignorant. I agree. I actually was talking about that the other day with Sarah in the car. I'm surprised he wasn't as bad as his reputation had. Anyway, let's finish this video. Trump, like, again, like, Trump actually seems to care about fairness as trump cares about fairness <sighs> i made it i made it in there chat hell yeah and now i'm never biting it again okay stupid as that sounds uh when charlottesville happened and he was like look i'm not talking about the nazis even though cnn always cut that bit out uh but on both sides of the argument there are good people that's a fairness issue you know if he if he wanted he could have said yeah 
the the proud or uh, sorry not the proud boys the um the nazis charlotteville you know the the protesters did nothing wrong antifa did something wrong if he wanted it would look terrible you know a fair-minded person would be like hang on a second mm. you know they're both bad at this site you know and, they, and that you know it's not just one or the other and so when they when the media when cnn when the democrats say all evil lies in the opposition you know that they're not playing for in in the ideal of establishing a fair uh, playing field, or, or how to say, not not just playing field, but just atmosphere. If I recall, and, and don't get me wrong, I, I could be misremembering. During the Charlottesville riot, didn't one of the very fine people run somebody over with a car? They were holding tiki torches. Not the Nazis. No, they were all Nazis. Literally everyone that was on the right wing of the Charlottesville riot, or, 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 or the Charlottesville event, I guess, was, 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 was they, were, they were fucking Nazis. I mean, there's footage from within the fucking march. Literally within it. Richard Spencer, like, organized it. It was a Nazi march. Oh, but not the Nazis. So nobody? Literally nobody on the right? How are you this genuinely ignorant? I am so glad we are done with that. Subscribe to the fucking YouTube channel, okay? Do it now. Do it right now. Subscribe, chat. Subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. Tired of you. Tired of you. Tired of you hanging out. Sorry, on thanks. Seen live stream footage of that day and it was filled with Nazis. I mean, it's, there's several documentaries that you can watch on Netflix that show literally like behind the scenes footage of them being like, yep, so we're Nazis. <laughs> Yeah, Nazis are only brown-shirted people uh, in Hugo Boss uniforms that that have swastikas on them and and march for the the Führer. That's the only way you could be a Nazi, and it has to be nineteen uh, 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 nineteen thirty or later. You have to have been a you have to. The only way you could be a Nazi is if you were an actual member of the Beer Hall Putsch. Okay, do you remember the the <laughs> Crystal Knocked? The only way. That's the only way. If you were there on Crystal Knocked, okay? At the Beer Hall Putsch. Or if you were... <laughs> the Night of Long Knives. That's it. These are the three events. Otherwise, you're not a Nazi. Okay? Not a Nazi. Okay? You couldn't, uh... Alright, unless you were a guard at fucking Birkenau or Auschwitz. Not a Nazi. That's how Nazis work, okay?